Let's talk about some general data, the mass of the Earth. So, of course, that is one of the primary things, properties of an object. The mass of the Earth is uh, roughly six times 10 to the 24th kilogram. We can call this 1M Earth. And uh, when we are reporting the mass of other planets, we can compare that to the Earth. So if you are telling us, for example, in your report, the mass of Jupiter, let's say you tell us mass of Jupiter, okay, is uh, 18 times 10 to the 26th kilograms. Okay, so let's say you were to tell us that the uh, mass of Jupiter is 18 times 10 to the 6 kilograms. Then in relation to the Earth, how much heavier would that be? Then you could tell us how much heavier than the Earth that is. Usually if you look up data tables online, they will not only tell you the mass of something or the radius of something, but they will also compare to the Earth so that we can have, have a reference frame. So if I divide this by the mass of the Earth, what will the ratio be? Eighteen divided by six is three. Ten to the twenty-six divided by ten to the twenty-fourth is what? Roughly about three hundred. Okay. A lot of times you don't have to do that division yourself. The data table will already have done that for you, okay? So that means Jupiter would be about 300 times heavier than the uh, Earth. So I'm not necessarily saying it is, but roughly it is, okay? It's, uh, that's what the mass of Jupiter is. So it is heavier, and of course it is bigger, okay? So what, when you report to us the mass of a planet, tell us what its mass is, also tell us what its mass is in relation to the Earth, okay? Radius, very similar way. When you tell us the radius of a planet, tell us what its radius is in kilometers, and then compare it to the radius of the Earth. So we'll call this 1R Earth. You can see this picture here. Okay, this one shows you roughly the size of the Earth. And then, of course, compared to uh, an asteroid, much, much bigger. The diameter of the Earth, 12,800 kilometers, about 8,000 miles. That's uh, roughly the diameter of the Earth. And then uh, an asteroid, about 9 miles across. So a lot, lot, lot smaller. Okay? If I wanted to know the circumference of the Earth, what would that be, roughly? Okay, you multiply the diameter by pi, right, by 3.14. So if the diameter of the Earth is 12,800 or 8,000 miles, the circumference would be 8,000 times pi, 8,000 times 3. So roughly, circumference of Earth, 8,000 times 3. I know pi is 3.14, but I'm just approximating here. So the diameter times pi. So that's going to be 24,000 miles. So that's the circumference of the Earth, 24,000 miles. OK? Quite, quite a while, huh? Quite a big distance. OK, next property is density. Density measures how compact something is, how much mass it has, but how much volume it occupies. It's the ratio of how much mass to how much volume. So you take the mass of the Earth, and you divide it by its uh, volume. So roughly, if you wanted to know how to calculate this, you would take the mass. What's the mass of the Earth? 6 times 10 to the 24th. What's the volume of the Earth? Well, volume of the Earth, vo volume of a sphere is uh, the formula 4 thirds pi r cubed. 
4 thirds pi radius cubed. Then you have to take the radius of the Earth, 6,378 kilometers. But each kilometer is 1,000 meters. Then you have to cube it. Put that all into the calculator. 6 times 124 divided by 4 thirds pi, 6378 cubed, and all of that. When you do all of that, <coughs> it's going to give you to you in the units of kilogram per cubic meter. So what you're going to get roughly when you do this calculation is 5,520 kilogram per cubic meter. Okay. So on the average, a cubic meter of the Earth, which means a meter by a meter by a meter. That's what a cubic meter is. A meter by a meter by a meter. That you will have a mass of 5,520 kilograms. Okay. <coughs> now, you could also convert that to units of gram per cubic centimeter. That means a centimeter by a centimeter by a centimeter. Centimeter, centimeter, centimeter. If you convert this to gram per cubic centimeter, you're going to get 5.52 gram per cubic centimeter. So cubic meter is very huge, something like this. Go, 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 meter by meter by meter. Uh, cubic centimeter, very small. So this tells you that one cubic centimeter of Earth has a mass of 5.52 gram. This one tells you one cubic meter of Earth has a mass of 5,520 kilogram. Okay? Is that big? Is that small? Is that very dense? Is that not very dense? Well, in order for us to s answer that, the one that we use for the basis of measurement is the density of water. That's how we can know whether that's a high density or a low density. What is the de density of water? Centimeters. That's the density of water. OK? So density of water, one gram per cubic centimeter. That means if you had this much of the Earth, it would have a mass of 5.52 gram. If you have this much water, same amount of water, it would have a mass of one gram. Now which one is denser? You can compare them. You can say Earth is denser, right? Five times denser. <coughs> In terms of kilogram per cubic meter, what's the density of water? then you multiply this by 1,000. So that's the conversion between kilogram per cubic meter to gram per cubic centimeter. You divide this by 1,000 to get this. You multiply this by 1,000 to get that. So if I want to know what's the density of water, it'll be 1,000 kilogram per cubic meter. OK? That means if you have this much water, it will have a mass of 1,000 kilogram. If you have this much of the Earth, how much mass will it have? 5,520. So this is water, and then 5,520. Again, which one is denser? Again, the Earth. Whether you measure it in this way or whether you, you measure it this way, the Earth is still five and a half times denser. Okay. So if I put the Earth in a huge bucket of water, does it sink or float? It sinks, right? Anything denser than water sinks. As a matter of fact, out of the planet, it's the densest planet. The Earth is the densest planet. So it will sink the fastest out of any planet. You see, it's the densest planet. And then when we do our overview of the planets, we'll talk about which one's the second densest planet, which one's the lightest planet, which one's the least dense, and so on, you know. We will compare them. <coughs>